What's going on guys? We're back. Today we got this uh, old Matchbox pipe truck that we're going to restore. So this one's probably one of the more beat up cars that I've done a video on because you got the roof has been bent somehow. I don't know if somebody stepped on it like kind of like this or it's been dropped and the windshield is cracked so we'll have to make a new windshield for it. And uh, two of these little posts that used to be there are missing now. The wheels are rusted, and uh, it's overall just kind of beat up. But it's a really cool truck. I like this one. So you can get an overview of what it used to look like, and then we'll restore this car. The first thing we do when we take this car apart is drill out the rivets. I remember in my last video, a guy commented on how he subscribed to my channel just because I didn't show a shot of me taking the rivets out with the drill. So I'm just going to put this in real quick in this video, just to see it. So after we get the car taken apart, you can see all the pieces. So the first thing we got is this piece that holds the first set of wheels down with the bumper and the chrome all the chrome pieces and then it holds the winch which is extremely cracked as you can see now it's got pretty much an entire piece of it taken out I have no idea how that happened probably just got dropped but that will need replacing if it'll focus there you can see it a little better Here we have a better look at the windshield and how it's cracked. And then we got just the tiny little base that's on it. If it'll focus, it can give you a better look of it. Doesn't look too bad. Now we have to get the wheels off. I use the Dremel method with the stone cutting wheel well it's not a cutting wheel it's just a stone wheel on it to uh, grind down the uh, wheel posts that the wheel on by just spinning the axle and uh, it'll take a little bit of metal off the sides of the posts and then you can just slide the wheel off and it doesn't take that long it's pretty easy I cleaned up all the wheels and uh, plastic pieces on the car and uh, I also got the axles off. It's got eight wheels and four axles so it's got quite a few wheels and uh, we'll have to shine up the and get the rust off of these axles. I also cleaned up this piece, the grill, which had quite a bit of dirt and stuff on it but it's looking pretty good now. All we need to do is fix up the front bumper. Other than that I think it's pretty good. And then we'll work on that car. I mean, on. Now we tr need to try and get the roof bent back in, or out, if whichever you want to call it. But I first used the uh, vise by holding it, and I uh, tried to bend it, but the only thing it did was bend the lip of the uh, cab in, and it really didn't bend anything else. So uh, I didn't want to break the whole cab or like get it so it was unfixable. So I decided to use the hammer. And the next thing we're doing here is gluing the uh, A-pillars back on as uh, they had broken off at one point. I'm just using some ordinary super glue, but uh, you can use whatever you like if you need to uh, glue these back on. And remember to uh, sand down some of the glue so it looks uh, flush with the body. So we got the body of the truck about as good as it's going to get. The uh roof and stuff didn't really want to bend back together and the uh, one of the posts broke off and uh, I got that fixed and uh, sanded down I got everything sanded down and uh, all the paint removed as best as I could and uh, there's still a little bit of paint on there that we need to get off but I'll get that off and then we made a new windshield for it and I already test fit it it already fits because the old windshield was cracked 
as you can see it's got a big half of the windshield is gone basically so that one is pretty much unusable there and uh, everything else is pretty much the same I painted the rest of the truck orange well, I didn't paint anything else besides that but I think it turned out really good I sprayed a coat of primer on it a thin coat of primer before I uh, actually painted it just to make sure that uh, all the paint goes on evenly and it turned out really good um, yeah I just bent I didn't I tried to bend this out but it uh, it just bent the lip of this in so uh, I just decided not to uh, mess with it too much because I didn't want to break anything off as any more than I had but uh, it bent it out a little bit so it looks pretty good now and uh, you can still read where it says Leyland on it on there so that's really what I was going for and all the little details you can see are still there and the same with uh, all the little ridges and on the roof it turned out really good and uh, next thing I need to do is uh, I will probably only paint this part here uh, on the plastic piece the grill piece which is the bumper here I'll probably only paint that because the rest of it's pretty good especially this piece here it's pretty good and uh, I think everything else I've done I've already showed you so I got the truck finished um, I got the wheels back on got the windshield in base is on and uh, everything is painted it looks pretty good paint turned out really nice as you can see and then we got the old, just the old windshield here. I probably will just get rid of it or I don't know what to do with it really. Because I don't really have any use for it. But uh, other than that, it looks pretty good. Rolls about as good as every other Matchbox does. And uh, looks pretty good. So it'll be a new car to add to my collection. And uh, I think that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.